Hey everybody! Howdy, 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 howdy. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we're a Disney crazy family. We just took a trip to Disneyland for the Halloween season and it was fabulous. This is part of our series of what we got as far as pins go and um, we're sharing our mystery pack pulls. We have a ton of mystery packs still needing to be opened, so look for those videos in the coming weeks. But this is what we for sure opened like in the parks and, you know, um, at the hotel. So let's get started. We got very lucky on this trip. We completed the entire Disneyland Hidden Mickey series, Whoop. like the Ooh. entire flyer, which I don't know if we would have been able to do that. It's amazing. We got very lucky on the last night. Okay, we had some <laughs> cast member magic. Yes. So I sorted them into sets and we have all of the series in order, I think, for the most part. Up here, we have the hat series. Now, all of these, from what I can remember, minus the Super Chaser, have actually been hats you could purchase as merchandise in the past, which I thought was really cool. Some of these are duplicate designs from past mystery boxes in uh, recent years, but for the most part, I do like the designs. We got very, just so you know, we bought a ton of Hidden Mickey packs. I you think, gotta do something while you're in line. I think that's the most <laughs> and while you're eating. one particular item that we got on this trip. We got very stinking lucky. Now, shout out to Alyssa over at Pixar Piers Gift Shop. You, my friend, are amazing. You are the lucky duckling we've been looking for on this entire trip because we had this trick that you came up with in which you felt the packages. Super, super lucky. The ones vertically, when you look at a rack of the Hidden Mickey packages, the ones that are slightly thicker, when you look at them from the side, those were the ones that had the chasers and we finally pulled the super chaser <laughs> from the Pixar Pier Hotel gift shop with our friend Alyssa. We opened up a pack that had a Jack Skellington and the super chaser in it. We gave her the Jack Skellington because she was so awesome and I hope she loves the pin. We got a hug. It was amazing. Disney treat her well. She was awesome. Awesome cast member. But we got super lucky. We got two chasers of the Hatbox Ghost, a ton of the really cool, um, you know, other hats in the series. Grumpy and Tigger were definitely the ones we saw the most. Yes. Of people trading. Um, we opened up a couple of the, do, 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 what are these little Star Wars creatures? Very cute. <laughs> I thought that series was awesome. Super lucky with the Mickey series. The Christmas Mickey is the chaser for this set. We did manage to complete it. I know somebody who was looking for another vampire Mickey. This was not all that we pulled from this. No. Some, we kept on trading that one away. Yeah. And we kept on getting it back. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And we didn't realize that Santa Mickey was the chaser until like the end. Super lucky on the pulls for the Hatbox Ghost Disneyland D. This was the one series I really wanted to complete no matter what. Mm -hmm. Super lucky. Um, we did end up completing the set for all of these, um, or excuse me, for all of the new 2024 hidden Mickeys. We just pulled the ones that we traded for in a different video. So make sure to go see those. Um, we did also get Belle in this, but we traded her away. Yeah, we traded one bell, we kept one bell. She was one that we pulled a lot mm -hmm. with Lucky, so yes. that was weird. These, Jack-Jack was the most frequently <laughs> found on boards and through trade pin series. Yes, I don't think they, I don't know if they actually understood what characters he was portraying. Yeah, it was crazy how many times we saw Jack-Jack <laughs> on the boards. 
This one, the normal Baby Jack-Jack, apparently is the chaser. I was expecting one, one of, of those. his superpowers. Yeah. yeah. So that was pretty fun. Thor's shirt was the most commonly put on the board t-shirt at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. We pulled both of these. I think the first pack that I opened up was the Iron Man Chaser, which was crazy yes. because we pulled like three or four of him yep. at one point. And super happy we were able to trade um, a couple of the t-shirts away. I thought that was pretty cool. I was on the fence about going after this t-shirt series. I think I'm still gonna trade it away during the Pin and Pop events. So if you're looking for those, please make sure to look out for our tables in the future. Follow us on Instagram. I'll share what our table names are. Um, this was from the 2021 set, I think. We bought new Hidden Mickeys and old Hidden Mickeys. The yellow yes. package is the old Hidden Mickeys and the pink package is the new Hidden Mickeys. And I kept on going for the yellow package. Right, and I knew for sure that we wanted the pink ones. So we got some really good pulls, I think. We did trade a couple of the ones we had purchased um, on boards and stuff, you know, for cast members and to get rid of some scrappers. And they use some for their trivia. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Very fortunate. I was looking for the stinking stitch pin since like 2020. <laughs> Finally pulled two of him. Yep. <sighs> Finally. We completed a set. So Yay! super happy about that. I was looking for another one in particular for a friend. We didn't pull that one, but hopefully she's able to grab it at the next pin event. And um, very happy. So this oh, I didn't is. I know. We could have gotten some more. Mm, I think you have one. Oh, okay. I think you have one box we can unbox. Okay. Super happy though. We got some great, great pin karma. Um, a, a couple of these rabbits yeah, were we traded. We kept on trading those. Um, and everybody and their dog had like a rabbit. So <laughs> very popular. These planes were fun. We kept pulling Minnie and we also saw Minnie like three times on boards. Tinkerbell or, and the, yeah. um, what was it? Three fairies three fairies I traded for that one and orange bird was a fun one yeah we didn't get the Elliot chaser out of that one but I thought this was a cool series do you want to keep the planes um I think I got the one that I wanted the three fairies one okay yeah, so I'm okay with those being traders those are probably gonna be traders at the next event And then, of course, we had to get some new pins that were available at the parks. This series, I kept seeing people open. This villain series is so pretty in person. Really happy you decided to get that series. Mm -hmm. I kept asking if you wanted it, and you were like, well... I, I said I felt like I could trade for it. And but I think people were opening up and deciding they look a lot better than they did on the boxes. And that, so they were deciding to keep them. That is true, because we had like mm -hmm. three or four people when we were doing the Frontierland trading yes. who were like, do you have this one? Or, you know, I'm missing this one. Do you have that? Yeah. So no, we opened these after we came back or like after people asked us at the tables. Right. Jafar was definitely the most common pin for us. <laughs> yeah. And each one of these has like a small flaw on them. So I don't know if that's just Jafar in general for this set right. or if it was the ones we ended up pulling. Who knows? Who knows? We are um, we are Maleficent. -ing. <laughs> we are missing Maleficent and Captain Hook. So if anybody has those, please let us know. And the newest Hocus Pocus set. Guys, they're listening to us because I said they need to include the kids. Yes. And this is like the fourth pin set in which the kids are being added. Absolutely. Super grateful. Hopefully y'all can see that with the clouds. Let me turn that on. Woo! There we go. So we've got, um, where is she? Danny. We got, um, Elizabeth. No. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope. Ding, 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 ding. Zachary Banks. Oh, it's gonna kill me. Um, 
you know, the kids. We got Max, Max, and uh, Allison. Ice. <laughs> yeah, this was the coolest pin. I think that's my favorite from the series. My name's not Ernie. It's, it's Ice. Ice. Uh, Three Sisters. This was a good series. We're only missing um, Binks, ironically. So yeah. hopefully we can trade for that one at the new Pin and Pop event. It's going to kill me. we have some boxes to open. We do. We do have some boxes to unopen. Um... We have some munchlings. We told you about that story in our previous video. We have a couple of these. They were magical moments or magical mystery, something along that lines. It's like the one where you have one pin per pack. It's a series, ongoing series. And they're on like 20 something now. Really good pulls. Uh, Mr. Mystery actually picked these out, and he got some of the best characters in the set. Let me interject. Emily. There we go. Dang, Elizabeth, Emily. I knew it. I know. We love this movie. It was just <laughs> in the moment. I swear I know it. Um, this was a purchase. Uh, this one and these four were purchases, so I'll wait until the end to share about that. Like I said, we had a really good pull in these munchlings. We only bought one pack and then, you know, traded for the one we wanted. You are on a quest for a new series. Yep, I found it. Those are adorable! The Mickey Mouse Club Mystery Packs. Really cool characters, actually. Look how big they are, and I love the colors. I love that it's old style Mickey head. It's, you know, not nothing against the runaway railway design style, but I love these. Yeah, we bought a lot and we have a lot to open of this set. So expect a ton of these to be available on future pin and pop trade tables. Very, very cute. Go. Yeah, I just couldn't see it all. We have Clarabelle. Who we did actually have a meet and greet with. Yes. That's fun. She was oh, animated, let me Quite tell you. sassy. Yes. Very cute. Yes. I think we're missing Horace. Yeah, we're missing Horace, Donald, um, quite a few from the set. And we hope to complete them in our mystery box pulls. We're going to have to... Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, we're going to have to preview, I guess, maybe in here, some of the packs we're going to open in the future. Um, okay, so the last but not least, the ones we, oh, yes. that we purchased, um, the Mickey and Friends ones, those were actually from uh, Not Mighty Pins. What is the store? Company D? No. The random store. Thrifty Land. Oh, yes. There we go. It was from Thrifty Land. Now, they did have a lot of pins available. We don't quite know if all of them were authentic, but we know for sure that the ones that we purchased are authentic. This one in particular, Mickey, where he is uh, singing in the rain. Love that movie. That is a grail pin for so many people, and we found it an exceptional price. I love it. I want yes. that. It's part of a Great Movie Ride 4-pack. Um, there's a Mary Poppins one in that series, and I really want that one too. But this was definitely a grail pin. Super authentic. It's in great condition. I can't believe we found it. Super cool to add to the collection. I don't think I paid any more than 15 for any of those. Mm, this one was 40. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the most expensive one we got. But the rest were very, very inexpensive, and they're all authentic. Yes. So that's and they have cool. no problems about pulling them out of the cases for you to look at, front and back. She had no issues with that whatsoever. Yeah. So God, and I can't remember which location it was. We're gonna have to insert it because I think we got the card for it. Yes, it was one of the last ones. There was one more Grail pin that they had for a really, really good price, but the pin itself was damaged. Yes. I was heartbroken because if it wasn't damaged, I would have snatched it up in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. So sad. But that's just the difference between um, 
some people who take care of their stuff and some people who don't. And who don't mind a flaw. But I think where this particular flaw was made a difference. Yeah, it was a gash instead of like a, a scratch. Right. So it was missing enamel and that definitely would have bothered me. However, it was very cute. I'm sure somebody's gonna love it in the future and you know, uh, bring it home with them. So there you go. Woo. So let us know what your favorite pin of the video was. We have some really good ones. I can't believe the luck we had. Um, cast members were really amazing that helped us out with these boxes. And I'm gonna say our luck finishing the chaser and the super chaser for the hat was amazing. Definitely the best pulls I think we had because the last day we ended up getting the super chaser hat and a second hat box ghost in the same package. Ooh, ooh, crazy. Yes. Oh, no, excuse me. It was the hat box and hat box in the same package. Crazy. Pixar Pier Hotel gift shop. Hidden rock. gem. Hidden gem. They rock. Absolutely fabulous. So let us know what your favorite pin or pins were of the video and uh you know consider subscribing leaving comments definitely like this video if you enjoyed our pin haul and hope you guys have a pintastic day friends yep once again thanks for coming to the table goodbye